The Cape Girardeau County Jail expansion is expected to be operational by early next year. The first of many new jail cells arrived this week with more expected in the coming weeks. Nikki Clark joins us live in the studio with an update on the big project. Nikki. Kathy, Jeff, I sat down with the sheriff who says the addition to the jail is progressing nicely and it could not come at a better time because the one thing they really need right now is more space. Our population today is running anywhere from 285 to uh, sometimes even over 300 inmates and this is a facility that's built to house no more than 220. Cape Girardeau County Sheriff Ruth Ann Dickerson says once construction is over, they'll have room for around 500, which she says will help tremendously. Constantly moving people around. We have people in other facilities, so the time for expansion was upon us. On top of a lack of beds, they have other problems the addition will solve. One area that we are really having issues with right now is our kitchen. Sheriff Dickerson says they don't have enough room to prepare food for all of the inmates they have. The new space will help with that and also give them a new booking area. That will be very beneficial for the staff to be able to more efficiently handle that. Because they're close to the federal courthouse, the sheriff's department also has a contract to hold federal inmates. Right now we're only housing about 25 to 30 because we do have to limit how many of those we can hold because of our own inmates that we have to keep. Once the addition is complete, they'll be able to hold more. Sheriff Dickerson says they'll also be able to help other counties. We have other counties that have assisted us when our, we are overcrowded, so to pay them back, that would be our goal. I asked her if they get paid for housing outside inmates. The sheriffs in Missouri pretty well generally have a rule that you hold an inmate for me, I'll hold an inmate for you. There's no need to charge back and forth because we're all in the same same dilemma. But even once the jail is functional, they plan to take the transition slowly. We can't open it up and all of a sudden take on 500 inmates. It will be a growing process. The sheriff says they're already in the process of hiring more staff so they can be trained and ready to go by the time the expansion is complete. Jeff.